We just did this live chat. You see how I work it. We just lived this live chat and we ran simultaneously two of the collapses. Two it should be the same camera, but apparently it's not. Uh, some delays there, camera right, camera left. This is what our collapse looks like. This is our implosion. Screenshotting that for the thumbnail. And let's look at it. I stated before that in live chat that this thing looks like it's going to get hung up here. If they break that, it's going to get hung up here and slide down. I also stated that that this thing should it'd be nice if they can get it to swing down using the pins. I've already said that. And slide down into, into the trash can. Appears that's what they were attempting to do on each one um, on that side. On this side, I talked about breaking up, and no matter what, I kept saying it keeps coming off the building, however, break it up. So on this side, their intent was to keep it attached, blow the legs, and it pulls it back over this side as it falls like a tree branch, except for this is not a tree branch. These steel members can just fall straight down. They don't have that built-in flex in them. They're mostly... They're mostly um, um, Static, that is, they don't have any kinetic energy built in them like a tree branch to go that way. They're plumb. Save this one is not plumb. So you can't control something when you just blow a hole in it unless you also add another force, a plate, which they didn't see them add. Add another plate, another explosion, say up here, and you give it that toppling effect. The second, the next break would give it the, the shove off the top. But I didn't see anything like that where they any shape charges where they planned on doing pushing it over from the top there. Of course, that's a lot of weight. And uh, how would you do it? Well, this one could not come out of, did not come out of plumb. You just blew its legs out. It's still plumb. And so it mostly fell down. And I said it yesterday in the video, what's it going to do? Get entangled inside the steel that's below. And lo and behold, it gets entangled in the steel. Only thing they did right was, they, was this thing had no control over, they had no control over stopping anyway. Was it when you blew this cable, it's on a hinge. By default, it comes in. So let's watch at what, at what point. It's already taken a moment. They've blown this. So it already has a two directional um, forces at this point. That the, it's released the tension, whichever that out of plumb would it might have been. So it wants to go that way. And this is now swinging down towards there, a little pendulum. And let's do that. So our explosion is still happening down there, the, the, uh, the fire rat, the fireball. I'm looking at the crane left and seeing what is coming out of plumb. All right, it's coming out of plumb at that point. So at that point, it's coming out of plumb. There's your connected joint still. And this now wants to, as you guys love gravity, I say equilibrium, it now wants to come straight down. It really doesn't want to go back, but it's already in a swinging pendulum um, mode because it does have an, a, pin, a pin point, right? A pin with that, with that swing. And right there now we're still... We're still game to fall down, but it can't fall down because it's in, it's, it's entangled at the base here. So it's just stupid to, without a secondary blow here. It's stupid to think this would just fall down right there now. All you did was blow the blow a leg section out of it, and it's now entangled again. So what you're looking at now is a hinge now. They can't figure out why it went there. It's a friggin' hinge at this point. You just blew that point out. It doesn't have a, and it's out of equilibrium. This is going to be our, our now controlling um, force, if you will, this part. And it's going to pull it over. So now there's no more explosion there. There's no more explosions going on here. So just look at this as a, as a static piece of material that you're trying to evaluate what, what the loads would have, the stresses would do. We've got a counterweight on here, let's call it, this elbow on this outside. It's also on a hinge that might want to swing. This turntable, I think, is locked, so I don't know if we have to worry about that swinging and doing this factor anyway. So now we got a hinge point. We got this weight. Maybe let's maybe it will still come over. Let's see when it no longer keeps coming. All right. So now she broke free. She swung in. She broke free, but she's already jerked this tower over to the tower part here to where it goes. That pot was not for free. It might have been for free had they blown it um, at the same time. But this doesn't look like a, there's no break. There's no explosion there. Let's back it up. There's no explosion there. This is just a break of the joint and apparently a break of a joint here also. No explosion to that. So it's just a matter of it overloading that joint or did they weaken that joint? I, I, I don't think they had the knowledge to do that. Um, so it, maybe the joint, the guys, crane, crane installers would know that 
yeah, you can't put that joint in that stressful position. It would pop it off. It's only a piece of steel on each side. I showed you in that previous video. So now, they both are uh, being the same crane. They're both going to try to react the same. This one, Dick's, it's already uh, in, in, entangled itself into the crane, the part of the crane they blew away right here. And notice they blew it at different levels. I don't know if that counts. If that counts, one, two, three, four, five, around the sixth level. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe that's the sixth level also that they found that they think that's the center of uh, access point for this this, this uh, rotation. But they chose that. All right. So now we get this thing coming around. This one is going to go down to the ground. And it's still hinging. It's hinging right here. It's entangled and getting tripped up. The one to the left only. Behind the dust. It's tripped up. Tripped up. It's still being held. A little clip. There we go. Back it up right there. I'm going to cough on you guys. <coughs> At some point, it can't hold any longer. And the top takes over and flips over just like a damn, you know, lopsided, uh, piece of steel with a head like a, like a sledgehammer okay think of it as a sledgehammer at that point and the the, the tower part is the uh, is the handle and the sledgehammer is up top and there you go and let me go let me step away and choke you guys are a little sensitive about me choking right like, like I'm not human <coughs> and I guess none of you guys got that damn choking thing going on right now it's everywhere all right it's in your throat this one did the same thing, except when they blew it, <laughs> it was already still in equilibrium. They killed the equilibrium on this side too soon. It, it killed it too soon, and it stopped the momentum from being able to pull it over. So let's back it up. So they want to know what happened. This, 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 the, uh, the, uh, this stuff that does cutting, you're not going to get directional changes. You know, you, you're, not, you're, you're cutting, not directionally changing anything with the force. So we have this guy coming out. If it was only stay lopsided and pull it over. But they actually released it already. They blasted it. So now this makes this side. <coughs> sorry, these two weights are in, always established in equilibrium. There's always working towards equilibrium. So this now is, can't be maintained anymore up here. If they would have blown it, releasing the load here, this might have made this side more heavier and pulled it over. And yeah, this, this wild piece would have to fall down on the ground that I talked about. But I said, what if you kept the cable on somehow and you could, you could, because uh, you need to make this side lighter. That's why you saw me trying to make the side lighter so this would fall this direction. And, and I couldn't do it. And they couldn't do it either. I couldn't do it without trashing stuff down here, without things falling on it. Uncontrollably. <coughs> so then we get this drag right here on top of the, uh, on top of, gosh, you guys something to drink. Drinking. Sorry for being human. So then we get this drag, but then we get the release of it. This then reestablishes equilibrium as the greater force on this end and pulls it back over. So let's watch that pop off. It pops off, and now what happens? Equilibrium is always being established. Not this gravity stuff you guys love, and I'm sorry, I'm a gravity troll. I think you guys are on crack with this gravity. Equilibrium explains things more so than gravity. So now that here's the forces here. This is trying to fall over here, but we've got a long extended weight out here and some resistance, some drag. But not only that, we also have a weight that's willing to, to slide back towards. Here's it in line with this building here. We have a weight that's willing to pull back, still pull, recover. Now it's straightening it back up and pulling it back. And there's your counterweight, that recovering counterweight. Now we go. And there we go. So there they are, not able to figure out the loads and these engineers they had there. I don't know how many of them, but they count as my shit engineers unless they're looking to hire me to, to evaluate their plans and their, uh, their thoughts in the future. I consider them also in the, in the shit failure zone. Sorry, I don't give excuses for people who... Uh, who claim to be the, the best in this, and we can make it happen. That's what they stated, right? That's just bull, bullshit. So then we got it back on here. Luck would have it. It went on, on the, all the outside um, 
girders. A lot of the load being transferred down this, uh, uh, what we call the shear wall then. And that's my take. I'll look at your comments. If somebody's trolling me over here, I'm going to block you. I don't feel like it tonight. I've spent too many hours doing this. You think I want to be trolled? All right. We got comments over here to the far right. Um, and it's still loading. And right. Um, calling the union line. Right, right, right. Um, we can only see a delayed back. Uh, uh, black feed box. Um, I'm not in. Yeah, I, I don't control this. I don't. I don't control this. It's. It's not. It's not what it states either. On the stop and end. So here we go. Ending it. I'll just load up a video.